already look up on the board? Who can read what that says? What are the three words Pain, that are circled? Pain, pair, share. There you go. Thanks, Wayne. That was Pain, pair, share. Okay, so who's done thing pair, share before? Nope. It's nice because it doesn't require you guys to write anything down for the do now. It doesn't. But, no, it doesn't. Thank you. Thank you. Guys? You're welcome. struggled with in our past. So I want you to think about, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about something that sometime in your life you've struggled with. So I know for me, I have not been good at everything that I've done in my life at all. Um, and there are also other things besides, you know, skills in school and in sports that I've been bad at. I had a really hard time when my parents got divorced. I struggled with the things that my family was going through when my dad went to jail. It was, it was a really tough time for me. I didn't handle that well. If I look back on it now, that was a time in my life where I was really struggling. So think about a time for the next 30 seconds that you struggled with something. An issue in your life, a class at school, something. And then we're gonna turn to a neighbor and share a little bit about that. So think of something that you're, you're willing to share with a neighbor. Keep it in for a bit. Oh, by the way, Miss McDaniel, I like your shoes. Thank you. Yeah, guess nice why I'm wearing, why am I all decked out in ASU gear today? Yeah. What yeah. games this weekend? ASU! ASU! Yeah, go Devils! Yeah. 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 <laughs> what? They're the school no, colors, no, maroon no, and gold. Nothing's football. No, so you wear, this you wear ASU shoes, but not Skyman. Okay, turn to partners and share. Find a partner. Share about the time that you've struggled with something. Tiffany. Who's sharing? Who's oh, working together? Can you guys work together here? Do you want to Thank you. You can share with me. So, would that be hard for you? Why? I mean, obviously, it's something that you didn't expect yeah, to be really difficult. So, what do you think, what do you think is the hardest part? Jacob, can you hold on? Because I'm sharing with Shaylin right now. So, that was the toughest part. More game. That's, that's really understandable. It can be out of school. 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 It can be out of I don't want this to be Yeah, it has to be in your arm right now. And it's not to be touched. All right, finish up. You have 30 more seconds to share with a partner. All right, back to your seats, face forward, please. Back to your seats, face forward, please. Okay, so obviously, what's been going on in the Miracle Worker or the play that we've been reading? Why do you think I asked you about a time that you struggled in the past? Nick? Because this is a big point in time in uh, Helen's life, but th there's a lot of uh, problems going on. Yeah, what are some problems that Helen is probably going to start dealing with pretty soon? Sally? I mean, uh, well, she has enough problems as it is, right? So what are some of her issues? Cooperating with them. Yeah, she isn't cooperating with her teacher. What are some of Helen's disabilities, again, that she's dealing with? Shay? She's deaf. She's, she's deaf. She's blind. And? She's mute, yeah. 
so she is obviously having a lot of trouble. And why do you think she's struggling so badly with Annie right now? Jacob? She's not used to Annie. Yeah, she's not used to Annie. <laughs> Excuse me. She's not used to Annie not only being around, but what type of attitude or what type of things is Annie like pushing her to do? Teresa? Like she doesn't let her do whatever she wants, so she's pushing her to like do yeah. it on her own. Yeah. Annie is holding Helen to way higher expectations than she's been held to previously, right? What do Helen's parents allow her to do? Yeah. What are some things that Annie doesn't think are appropriate that Helen's parents allow her to do? Jacob? Like take food out of other people's plate? Yeah, she walks around, kind of puts her hands in everyone's plate at the dinner table. Nick? When she has a hissy fit, they just give her what she wants at point. Yeah, she throws a fit, and what do they do to shut her up? Give her what she wants. Yeah, what she wants, or they give her candy, candy or sweets or things to kind of like coddle her. And, and what, do they, what is the attitude they have toward Helen? How do they view her? Jacob? As a, like a delicate egg shell? As a little egg, yeah, as Annie said. And she's not an egg, she's a child, right? They pity Helen. And so that is something that she's struggling with, to overcome this attitude of being pitied all the time. And all of a sudden now she's being held to these high expectations by Annie, which, do we think it's a good thing? Yes. Or do we think it's a bad thing that Annie's pushing her? It's a good thing. It's a good thing, yeah. Because eventually, what's going to happen? Helen's going to start responding. To yeah, her. Helen's going to respond and communicate, and she's going to have a higher quality of life. But is that process going to be easy? No. No, no it's going to suck really bad. Yeah, they're going to. She's not going to enjoy the process of learning language and learning to accept Annie as her guide through life, as her access point. Who can share with me, either their or if your partner's okay with it, their partner's struggle in life? Nicholas, you want to share yours? Yeah. Okay. I struggle with not beating the crap out of my brother. Okay, so, yeah, I know that you've told me before you and your brother get into some pretty intense arguments, and they turn physical sometimes, and so, yeah, is that, what kind of struggle, like, what do you struggle with most in that relationship? Uh, keeping my fist in my pocket. Okay, so not not, not fighting back, not yeah, either. not physically getting involved in, in the fight. Good. Who else has one? Wayne? Struggle with my depression. Okay, you struggle with your depression. So that's a disability too, right? Yeah, right. yeah so every day it's a struggle that Wayne has to overcome to you know, even get you. himself to come to school and to, you know, get himself it's to hard to stay in school. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to stay in school because He's battling with these different things and different disabilities. We all have different stuff going on, but Wayne has, you know, depression that is really disabilitating to him sometimes. Yeah. I, I didn't think what that's because my, 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 my problem is kind of first. Okay. So I chose, I probably, in the past, I had a problem with liquid medicine. Okay, so you had a hard time swallowing liquid medicine. Yes, it's all of the taste. It doesn't taste good. Right. So what did you do? Like, what was the what was the solution that you had? What I decided that? was instead of liquid medicine, to what would I convince my mom to start giving me pills? Okay, so you took pills instead. So that's something that you could fix with a solution, but can Wayne necessarily turn his depression not off? Oh, you're not done. Some pills don't. Sometimes <laughs> I have to get liquid medicine instead of pills sometimes. Okay. I have to deal with that. And then, but then you realize that you need the medicine, right? Yeah. And you take it. Okay, but right, Wayne doesn't have that luxury, right? You can't just do something else. And, and like when I said my example of, you know, I can't just make my parents not be getting divorced, right? Or Shaylin, do you mind if I share your example? Because that was a good one. Sure. So Shaylin was telling me, because I was her partner, we have an uneven number of people, that when she found out she had Turner Syndrome, so who remembers when Shaylin told us about when she had Turner Syndrome? when she found that out a couple of years ago. So Shaylin said that when she found out that news that she had this disorder, she was really, really sad because what's one thing that she doesn't know she can do? Have kids. Have a kid, right? Because most people who have Turner syndrome have a really hard time having children of their own. And she said, she, I always wanted to be a mom, but I don't know if I can have a baby now. And so that's something that you can struggle with and she can't just turn that off. I have, I'll say one thing though. 
I can't turn off my emotional disability. Yeah, you can't turn off your emotional That's disability. Right. Several of us in here have. I just, I just can't. I just can't. I can block it a little. But it's not going to go away, right? True. Right. Oh, so many and is <laughs> Helen's disability, guys, ever going to go away? No. no. Is it going? Is she just going to, you know, study really hard and be able to see? No. no. She's not going to be able to take different medicine to gain her hearing back. So this is something that Helen's going to struggle with her whole life. And what kind of fever does she get? She just had, it was called blinding fever or burning fever, and they just couldn't control it because did they have very advanced medicine in 1880? No. no. Probably today they might have been able to do something. Right. Yeah,